Hello, this is Tavan from Cambodia. Today I will share briefly about the learnings from Cambodia where WaterAid is trying to address gender inequality in the raw sector while also strengthening the system. Um, we try to do this by using the gender transformative framework which provides practical steps on how can we use the system strengthening approach to empower women, shift the harmful gender norms as well as achieving more sustainable raw services. But why integrating gender in the system strengthening? Because some people actually already believe that if we strengthen both system, we will automatically address gender inequality issues without any extra effort. But what to add, we have learned a lot from previous program that if we don't take explicit steps to address gender inequality, we will sometimes reinforce it in our voice program. As some intervention can reinforce harmful gender norms. Um, in Cambodia, I think it might be the same as some other countries. Um, usually, the majority of people working in both related government departments are men. And since both services impact women and men differently, it is important to promote women's leadership in the sector not just fulfill practical needs at the service delivery level, but ensuring the meaningful women participation in the process of coordination, planning, implementation, and monitoring is just as important. So basically, we use this as an analysis tool at the provincial voice workshop, where we invited key voice stakeholders in the province and district who are coming from government department, private sector and both NGO to come together, discuss and analyze the situation of the gender inequality in both sector and identify the capacity of the voice service provider, especially government partners on their level of implementing gender activities and also help them to identify the next step beyond gender inclusion. Um, in the next slides, I will share a bit more details on how we apply the tool. But before that, I would like briefly to show the system strengthening approach that WaterAid have been applying to ensure the sustainability of both services. So this table shows WaterAid's current system strengthening framework, which is applied at the district level. When we think of building blocks, which are needed to keep service running, we are talking about leadership, sector coordination, monitoring, strategic planning, financing, accountability, and so on. And what are its transformative framework in system strengthening help to ensure gender mainstreaming across all these building blocks of the system strengthening? So in the workshop, we use three practical steps to lead the discussion. So first, by framing the gender equality as an additional building block. Second step, we lead them to conduct a deeper analysis of gender across each building block of the system strengthening. And the last step, we map outcomes to create participatory action plan. So here are the other details of each step. So first one, we start the discussion by using this guiding to let the key board stakeholders assess the overall state of gender equality in both sector of their own province and district. Before going through to each building blocks of system strengthening, this exercise allows participants to have better understanding about a different situation and different challenges and different states of the Gen level of gender equality. By using this set of guiding and key questions, they reflect on their own context and make overall assessment on whether what sector in their province and district is in the state of harmful, inclusive, empowering, transformative when it comes to gender equality. So people can be very confused. It's if we jump up to the breakdown of system building blocks, that is why this first exercise is very important to start the discussion. 
and then when it comes to step two we break down into building blocks this has a lot stakeholder to have deeper analysis about the strengths the gaps and the challenges in terms of uh, gender empowerment and the age component sometimes they are doing good at having meaningful participation at the sector coordination platform but maybe lacking in terms of planning and financing so once they score the level of gender integration across each component we then lead them to have more deeper discussion about the root cause of problems obstacles so what make them score themselves at the low level what are the problem so at this exercise stakeholders will be able to identify about the issues of the gender power relation gender norms and some of the challenges that they want to change to inform the action plan so we use this guiding that we provide at the discussion of the step two to stakeholders so that they will be able to refer when they discuss each building block and the final step when we get the result from the first two discussion we use those results to inform action plan first we ask them to prioritize the building blocks or the gender norms that they want to change and then they will agree on the change in outcome they want to see within a great time frame and then identify what are the possible strategy to address challenges in order to shift from harmful or inclusive to empowering or transformative and then uh, stakeholders will come up with collective action plan since this tool is quite new to water it we have only piloted it once at the workshop but we plan to use this more with both stakeholder at least every six months to follow up the progress and collecting learnings from implementing the action plan it is false to mention that after first workshop what a team have also take the discussion results to consult with women organization who has expertise and experience in addressing gender issues shifting gen harmful gender norms and power relation in the province so that we could develop plan more strategically here are some of the learning from applying the tool so first ensuring uh, having representatives from women's organization and women's leaders from government so that they can bring more inputs in related to gender analysis and uh, second learning is that the tool is good but it has to be adapted to suit the context in our case we add more guiding points and questions to reflect on the Cambodia context and as I mentioned earlier um, to turn the discussion result into strategic plan could be a challenge so it's helpful to discuss or work with women's organization partner to and to uh, develop the strategic plan and during the workshop it requires confident facilitation with good understanding about both gender and both sector in the province and district thank you that's all for my sharing today